Coming to you live at the Traders Expo here in Las Vegas. I'm joined by Linda Rashtree, 34 year veteran trader, trading her own money, which I love. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, Matt. So, 34 years. Um, things have changed in the last 34 years. Uh, I couldn't Google things 34 years ago when I needed to know, get directions. Trading has changed even more than probably uh, the internet and everything else. What, what have you seen as the biggest changes and maybe where do you see it going in the future from there? If I could predict the future, would I be sitting here right now? I would hope I still to sit down so. with me. No, no. Yeah. Okay, if you bought me a good glass of wine, you know. But seriously, in terms of technical analysis and our modeling, the type of work that I do has not changed at all. I still trade the same type of program that I did 30 years ago. We update our models. They work exactly the same way. It's taking it one day at a time. However, with that said, the changes in the last 15 years, obviously the globalization of markets. So you have uh, more trading overnight. So it means that I could do all my analysis at the end of the day, but if I come in in the next morning, I might have to make more adjustments. Since China has a number that comes out, a PMI comes out bad, and if Shanghai well, drops 5%, it's going to throw a monkey wrench in what you, you did. You know, it, it, it increases the noise level. It never... The, those types of fundamentals have zero impact from where we closed on Friday close to where we close on the next Friday's close. They might cause more gyrations up and down in terms of gap or sentiment. Uh, I've found zero change in the, in the economic data from week to week. However, it obviously causes a lot more volatility during the day. So with that said, we have much more efficient markets. Everybody has incredible you know, bandwidth and um, trading platforms. Once that market tips its hand and the proverbial horse leaves the barn, it's a dog pile. They're not going to give you the little checks and back and forth as the market digests information as it used to do 20 years ago. So we have these two extremes where it's coil, 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 noise, 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 and then once it moves, you're going to be a one-way freight train without little dips and valleys. So you don't want to be wrong and waiting for a little reaction to get out in those particular instances. On the other hand, the noise levels are greater than they ever have been before. If we look at measurements like average true range or standard deviation or these types of functions in trading ranges, um, you have a lot more back and fill and noise, which makes it very, very choppy if you don't recognize that you're in that type of environment. So the two states are more extreme than ever. And it'll all make sense, I promise you, if you have a glass of wine. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. my head's spinning right now. I don't <laughs> yeah. know if news is good or news is bad, but basically, a lot of noise out there. A lot more noise than we had before because we all have 24 seven access to the internet and the amount of noise that's out there. Uh, you know, I personally would tell people, ignore most of that noise because it is exactly that. I mean, the stocks are gonna trade based on supply and demand, not on what happened in China last night. And you will see the big picture supply demand imbalances the higher the time frame you go out. So if I wanna see the true picture, look at the daily charts and what the basic market structure is speaking to. However, for day traders and short-term traders, I think they get a little bit too much into seeing the trees for the forest, you see? And then some people are very good at that game, at the little short-term stuff, and other people uh, will get totally chopped up. So you have to know your game and what you're doing, yeah. Linda Raskies, thank you so much. Know who you are, and don't get caught <laughs> in the forest. Thank you so much.